If you're watching this YouTube video, then most likely you came to YouTube and you typed in the search bar how to start a YouTube channel. And for one reason or another, you saw my video, my thumbnail, decided to click on it and give me a chance. But instead of telling you how to start a YouTube channel, I'm actually going to try to talk you out of it by sharing with you three things that big YouTubers won't tell you about the truth of starting a YouTube channel. I started my first YouTube channel almost two years ago. And after several months of posting videos and not getting any traction, I deleted the videos and I completely deleted the channel. I then started the channel I have now and it was an entire year that I grinded before I began to see any real results. And I was watching all of the videos from the biggest YouTubers and doing my dead level best to apply what they were teaching. And of all the videos I watched, the number one thing I wish they would have stressed to me in the beginning more often than less is the amount of skills that you must learn in order to become a great YouTuber. I had no idea that not only would I have to write great titles, but I would have to become a graphic designer and create attractive thumbnails. On top of that, you have to write great video scripts. Then you have to learn how to add special effects eventually to make your videos stand out and keep people engaged. You have to know how to treat the sound, color grade, and transform the video and manipulate it in so many different ways to make it come out in a fashion that keeps people engaged for a long enough time to trigger the YouTube algorithm. And those are just the technical skills that you have to learn. The amount of bandwidth for the soft skills that you have to learn is unreal. There are new ideas that you have never thought of that you're going to have to learn and embrace and become familiar with so that when you're creating your videos, you're creating them with these certain principles and rules in mind. Starting a YouTube channel requires you to take up an entirely new framework of thinking about a platform. It's nothing like Facebook. It's nothing like TikTok. It's nothing like Instagram. It is its own beast. It demands to be fed weekly. So whenever you see a title that says the easiest way to start a YouTube channel, just know that the word easy is being used to get you to click on the video. The second thing big YouTubers will tell you is how to actually get views for your videos when you first start. And so what I want to share with you now is the only strategy you need to focus on when you start your YouTube channel to get views and subscribers and to get your watch time up and grow as a YouTube content creator. And that strategy is to focus on search results. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. What that means is that you need to find out what people are actively searching for on YouTube and then create videos that answers those questions. And then you either need to create an attractive thumbnail or pay someone to create an attractive thumbnail so that you can get views for those search terms and not constantly be frustrated because you're putting out videos every week, but you're getting no views, you're making no progress and you are not seeing growth. So how do I find out what videos to make, Corey? There is a secret tool that all of the big YouTubers use, and it's called VidIQ. This tool will give you everything you need to research the most searched and most relevant keywords in your niche so that you can make videos that are relevant to the searches that people are performing on YouTube every single day. I'll put a link to VidIQ in the description. You can add it to your Chrome browser, and then it will even give you statistics on YouTube channels and so much more. But if you open the desktop app and you type in a keyword, it will tell you how many people are searching YouTube on a monthly basis for that keyword. And not only the search volume, but it tells you how many competitors you have creating content for that search term. And then it takes into consideration the search volume, the amount of people creating content for that search volume, and it gives you an overall difficulty. Anything in the green is a go. You should be making videos about it. But you want to make sure that the keywords you're targeting have a very low competition and any traffic at all will do. This strategy allows you to find keywords that don't have enough traffic to attract the attention of big YouTubers. And so they don't make videos for these specific search terms. So the traffic may be only two to 3,000 people per month. But if you're able to get a sizable portion of that traffic, you can start to see some quick wins and results for your brand new YouTube channel very quickly. The last thing that we're going to tell you that big YouTubers won't tell you when you're starting a new YouTube channel is that you do not have to start organically. Some content creators have become enamored with the idea of growing organically, while other content creators have approached it from a business perspective and leveraged their resources to promote their channels and grow quicker. If you want to see how a brand new YouTuber promotes their channel with the resources they have and the very beginning that big YouTubers won't tell you about, then watch this next video.